Tyson is like uh, an amazing player. Uh, I think he's like really selfless, even though he like, you know, kills everybody. Uh, as a player, he's better than I ever expected he could be. Probably the most mechanically gifted player in the world. He's a mechanical god. This is just the beginning. Remember that feeling of winning? Because we're going to go after it even more. Uh, yeah, Tyson. Tyson's like a little, like a little kid, dude. He's he's like a little golden retriever, you know, like a little puppy. So uh, I, I like talking to him. I like hanging out with him, and you know, he's cool. He's also just a great teammate, um, which was like the thing I was surprised by is like communication, listening to the things that we ask him to do. Uh, he's like really well rounded, on top of having like you know the most insane mechanical skill. Once he got into the groove of, of how we all um, mesh together, he's like fit in perfectly uh, as a personality and I'm um, really excited to continue getting to talk to him and, and play with him and stuff. Tyson, uh, Mike calls him a golden retriever because uh, he's kind of just like happy to be there and whatever you say, like he'll be like, okay, and he's always down. Um, so Tyson's just like really easy to get along with. I think he fit into the team uh, just naturally. Wait, we actually doing the lagoon tomorrow? No, no, no. there's no spots. There's no spots. Oh. Aw. I think it's so excited. Just let him down. We're actually going to the lagoon tomorrow. <gasps> Dad, are you? Can I go? I don't know. He's kind of like a golden retriever, you know. Like, good job, Tyson. I'd be like, thanks, dude. You know, like, he's like, he's really genuine with what he does, and he doesn't have like a bad bone, you know. So. I, I think he fit in pretty well. I mean, we're like, we're all pretty chill. And, but like from what I've like spectated, like how he aims and stuff is pretty insane Like to watch. Like, I don't even know how he's getting some of these kills. There's nobody playing like he does that I've seen, like how he like moves and aims. He's like blown all of our expectations away, he, he, even though, I mean, we, we always knew he was talented, but we didn't know how he'd like fit in the roster and how he would like follow our plans. But overall like he's been really adaptable and he's like probably one of the most positive teammates i've had so it's really great you just found out that uh, you're joining the sentinels full time tell me how you feel about it <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> i'm at a loss of words that's 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 double good things happen today we won and then i want sentinels <laughs> You know, we won the two biggest tournaments that we could play in in Valorant with him and like we were just building something great and the whole time like, you know, we we're just treating it as like he's part of the team, you know, we're working with him. We're not thinking like anything short term at all You know, for as long as he's playing with us, like, you know, he's our teammate um, and we're going to like treat it as such. And so it's just cool that like moving forward, we can like continue because I feel like like we've really made something great here and like there's a lot more to come. Obviously, it feels amazing because I joined this team initially as uh, just like a lone player, and we had like a lot of success. We won Masters One, we won Master or Challengers Two, and then we ended up winning the Land in Iceland Masters Two. So I don't know. I've had a, I've had a lot of success with this team, and so it's just amazing to kind of know I'm joining them long term. It kind of like secures our future in a sense with with him, and obviously like. Since, since he's so talented, it, it gives us uh, another sense of security in the fact that we'll probably continue to do at least somewhat well with him. So I'm uh, really excited for the future with him. I mean, it feels great. Uh, I'll just keep repeating. He's such a great guy. So like, it's, it's not like I'll, I'll be fine playing with Tyson forever. You know, like he's such a good teammate. So it's fine. Uh, he obviously has such a huge brand that like it really helps, you know, being associated with that dude on a personal standpoint. So it's it's literally all good. I feel like he's such like a good role model for people coming up, and it's really good that he found his place on like a really good team too. It, it was a lot of fun, honestly. I don't I, I don't think we took um, anything too seriously, just like we would online. We didn't have a strict routine or anything. We just kind of hopped on for scrims and, and game together, which which was fun. And uh, we always like he would always switch his mice in between rounds or like in between scrims, and we'd always make fun of him for it because it was like owning the whole time. So. Yeah, every time he switches mice, like we'd, we'd make fun of him for it. So that, that was good fun. Tyson has a tendency to switch his mice all the time. So in the quarantine room, even then, he kept switching mice. He had like two mice on there. And like in person, it was just hilarious to see him like, okay, I'm switching this. Or like, he's like plugging in the mouse or like switching his mouse pad. So he kind of just like told him like, hey, you're sticking on this. Like we were able we were, we were able to like monitor him and be like, no, 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 you're not switching mice. Like you're playing really well on this. Stay on this. Um, you know, we can control that habit of his. Well, a round where he got like a Marshall 4K or something when they were taking uh, Seaside on Haven was like insane. And that's like when I like, like that was, even though I've always known how talented he is, that was like one of the moments where like, 
dude, this guy's literally like the best player in the world. It's actually insane. We all went to the lagoon, but me and Tyson have stayed back and like went for longer, like a couple hours more. So, you know, we kicked it and it was, it was cool. Honestly, one of my favorite moments was going to the blue lagoon with the boys <laughs> and just kind of relaxing for a day. Cause we, we, uh, I don't remember if it was, yeah, we, so we beat Nutrient and we secured the grand finals. So the next day we just went to, uh, the blue lagoon and then all of us were just chilling yeah so me and tyson uh yeah we're, we're cool like that uh I'll, I'll like try to make him uncomfortable with saying like yeah you do really well this game i'll f you you know it's like <laughs> this make him uncomfortable i, th I think it's funny tyson yeah. you're owning if you drop 30 <laughs> kills i will literally personally Oh, Whoa, really? Yeah, actually, personally, actually. Personally. But he's also, he's such a nice guy. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll be serious about it. You know, it's like half serious. <laughs> it's half serious. Like, if it came true, it's okay. Tyson, welcome to the team. Uh, we're so excited. This is just the beginning. Remember that feeling of winning? Because we're going to go after it even more. Welcome to the team, Tyson. Uh, honestly, it's been a pleasure playing with you for the past few months or however long it's been and I'm excited to continue in the future and you're the best player I've played with so far so let's get it. <laughs> so first off I want to thank uh, C9 and Sentinels for making this transaction happen and I'd say it was quite smooth. Uh, next off thank you to the players Shaz, Zoms, Hunter, uh, Dapper. You guys made me kind of feel right at home as soon as I joined the team like the day of. And then lastly, thank you to all the fans for supporting me throughout this entire adventure. I appreciate all of you and uh, peace out. Welcome Tyson. We could uh, go to many more Lagoon dates in the future.